My name is Daisy. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna be brewing four different coffees for eight ounce coffee. I'm gonna talk a little bit about where these coffees come from. We're gonna taste them and hopefully give you a little bit more insight into the selection that eight ounce has on their website. You can also check out their Staff Picks coffee subscription, which is curated by coffee icon, David Kim. You can choose between two, three, or four bags of coffee, and you can choose the frequency that you get them delivered to you. Eight Ounce is really good about bringing in roasters from all over the country and also just all over the world. So whether you're just getting into coffee or you just wanna try something new, there's so much to try. Also, if you want even more coffee content, you can follow my little coffee Instagram, which is linked below. I don't work in coffee anymore, but I was a barista for Phil and Sebastian for four years, and I worked with 8 Ounce for a year doing product knowledge and teaching some coffee classes. So smash that follow if you want, Daisy Sips, and we're gonna make some coffee now. So the first coffee we're gonna try is from Monogram. They're based right here in Treaty 7. They're the best, cute branding. Their cafes are super cute and just run by the nicest people. Today we're gonna drink a washed Guatemalan from them. Something really cool about this coffee is it comes from a family owned estate and sustainability is really, really important to them, including their wastewater management. They use organic fertilizer, and because this coffee comes from such a remote location, they also ensure that the people that work there have access to things like healthcare and housing and all of the things. So I feel really good about drinking this coffee. And we're gonna brew it and try it right now. Now we're gonna drink this Guatemalan coffee from Monogram. Very excited to see what it's all about. Mm, really nice, tastes like, tastes like a butter tart, like butter pecan, tastes like Cinzio. You know the cinnamon buns you'd get at the mall, the sample? That's what this tastes like. <laughs> really good, really nice and balanced, definitely sweet, caramelly, buttery, really good. Cinzio, not sponsoring this video, but so good. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> So the next coffee we're gonna try is from Subtext Coffee Roasters. It's sourced and roasted in Toronto. I've had coffee from them before and it's so good. So I'm excited to drink this. This coffee is produced by Daniel Moreno and his family who are among the top producers of high quality specialty coffee like this one in their region. And this coffee comes from Honduras. I'm so excited to drink it right now and get hyper. Gonna drink this coffee from Subtext now. Very excited to try. It's a Honduran coffee. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see what, what it's all about. Mmm, tastes like, tastes like plum. Really sweet, um, 
a little nuttier, I think, at the end. This is nice, very balanced. Uh, would, would recommend this one. So next we're gonna try this coffee from Luna. Luna Coffee Roasters is based in BC and their packaging is so cute. And this coffee is a Colombian. It's grown and processed on a farm there and we're gonna drink it right now. We're gonna try this Colombian from Luna Coffee now. Very excited. I've heard good things. Um, so this is a washed coffee, which basically means that any of the organic matter is stripped off of the bean and then the bean is washed before it's eventually dried. So basically, in my opinion, washed coffee, you really just sort of taste, taste the bean, very pure flavor. So we're gonna try. Mmm, that's really nice, really bright, really sweet. Tastes like blueberry pie <laughs> and raspberries. It's really nice. I, I would say definitely a little bit more bright and acidic. So um, really tasty. Okay, coffee number four. This one is from Manhattan Coffee Roasters. I've never had coffee from them before, so I'm very excited. They're from the Netherlands and we're gonna drink this coffee from El Salvador from them. It's a natural coffee and Something cool about this coffee producer is he bought an abandoned coffee farm on the side of a volcano because he wanted to grow his coffee at a higher altitude, so, so cool. And they said on their website that if you could have a PhD in coffee, this producer, whose name is Roberto Alua, I hope I'm saying that right, he would have a PhD in coffee, so. I'm excited to drink it. We're gonna make it right now. So through the magic of editing, we have brewed this coffee and we're gonna we're gonna try it. Smells delish. Really, really nice. Tastes like, it tastes like a Ferrero Rocher, those chocolates that you get at Christmas. <laughs> and it tastes like, tastes like chocolate, tastes like cranberry a little bit. Really nice, really balanced. Um, I would recommend this coffee if you like something that's sort of more on that chocolatey, caramelly side, maybe a little more approachable. Um, very good, chef's kiss. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something. I know I enjoyed it. I'm so caffeinated right now. Thank you to 8 Ounce for having me on. And 8 Ounce uploads videos every Thursday, so be sure to like, comment, subscribe, smash that follow, and you can leave questions if you have any questions about coffee. And I would recommend picking some coffee up, trying this at home. There's no wrong way to taste coffee because taste is subjective and it's the best. You can really enjoy it at home. Pick up a new hobby and be sure to also check out their Staff Picks coffee subscription so that you can try a variety of things. Thanks again everyone for watching and happy brewing.